the campus of Oklahoma State right now, but it won't be quiet in a few minutes. That's because the number two team in the country, the Baylor Bears, are in town to take on the Cowboys. Now, sitting atop the standings of the Big 12, the view is very clear right now. Baylor, not only number two in the country, but number one in the Big 12 with a 6-0 record just ahead of Shaka Smart's Texas Longhorns. Hey everybody, I'm Tom McCarthy, old Bill Raftery. We're excited about this game, although, as you heard at halftime of our last game, no Cade Cunningham as he continues to follow COVID-19 protocols. Uh, I'm as disappointed as I'm sure the country is. What a great talent can beat you in so many spots, but it gives opportunity, yeah. and they better play great D. All right, speaking of giving other people opportunities, how about the opportunities that these guards have for Baylor? Just if you don't contain them on the bounce, they scramble the defense up, can make threes, get to the rim, very tough obstacle. All right, let's take a look at our at t 5G fast analysis. Break a little of this down for us, Bill. Well, a little nuisance screens here and there. If you don't handle the ball screen, you're going to have some. If you hide, go under, they make you pay mightily. Get those puppies organized. Butler with a beautiful stroke, good understanding of when to punish you. And why not? It's likely that Isaac will be superior today. Very strong attacking the rim, a little hesitation. The blow by, and he can post up at six foot four with some great strength at the rim. Yeah, he is a big dude. Upper body strength has been huge for him during his career. Starting lineups brought to you by Geico. All right, so with the absence of Cade Cunningham, that means that Caleb Boone, the very talented sophomore, will get a chance to start for Oklahoma and State. he's very good around that rim, can do some things on the offensive glass, and they're going to have to control that offensive glass. All right, so there is Cade Cunningham, averages 18 points per game. He's the second leading scorer among freshmen in college basketball. Could be one of the top five players in college basketball. His feel for the game, his understanding, his vision are far superior to most. All right, so the officials for today's ball game, Gary Maxwell, Kip Kissinger, and Kelly Self, as we are about ready to get underway. Baylor in the road white today. Oklahoma State in the home orange. And what a great venue, too, to watch a ball game. Yeah, they have a little more than 3,000 on hand to watch this one this afternoon. And the tip is controlled by Baylor. And Tom McCarthy right now. We get a look at this staunch defensive Oklahoma State. Yeah, Oklahoma State, Mike Boynton did tell us that they might play a little uh, matchup zone today. Not this early, though. Mm. Uh, confused a little bit. They're going to have to rebound out of this, and you're going to get open looks and offensive rebounding opportunities. The ball was knocked out of bounds on the attempted shot by Maceo T. So they'll inbound along the sidelines. I always think this is one of the tougher spots to out of basketball. It is because of the angle. You can jump the passing lane. Big thing against this great shooting team. You've got to close out under control. You must maintain position because they just destroy your interior defense with a scramble. Yeah, Mike Boyd also told us that extra pass is huge. And there's the first bucket of the day. Davion Mitchell for three. And he can beat you with the bounce as well. Mitchell averaging 11.9 per game. For Oklahoma State, because of COVID-19, it's their first game in 11 days. Nice little middle screen to roll through him. Go up strong. Yeah, Boone had some room, yeah. and he goes over top of Vital. Nice little bang down there with the left. Cal Boone, the sophomore, he and his uh, twin brother, Keelan Boone, were two big pickups for Oklahoma State. Both played a lot last year. Uh, they'll screen this zone, pop the middle, right by the Big 12 logo, and get in the lane like this. That's very tough to defend. And this is solid basketball. Yeah, Jared like, Butler, three or middle or at the rim. And I think we saw that with the Kansas game, how they were able to get to the basket. We know how good they are from beyond mm -hmm. the arc. They can double, get to the basket. A little double screen here. Pretty good handle. There's Vital up top. Now, Vital can cover anybody defensively absolutely all five spots the glue guy all the little things plus slice to the basketball knocked away shot clock is at two Anderson will chuck it up off the front of the rim and the rebound is pulled down by Thamba so Anderson has really worked on his outside shooting much better than last year knocking some threes down a little hesitation it opens it up how huh, when they break down that defense penetrate get the crack in the zone he one on one on the baseline gives up his dribble in a tough spot now Thamba turns right into the defense and they will turn you over well, nice double a little giveaway because you think of this place you think of Iba 
Eddie Sutton. I didn't coach against Iba, by the way. <laughs> a little double up, a little real strong coordination defensively. They're going to have to come up with a lot of those that time. Munkry. What about Eddie Sutton? You coach against Eddie Sutton? No, but I spent a lot of time with Eddie Sutton. That counts. During the tournaments, you know, we get together and the history that he had, of course, the influence on the game. And they like to play that solid defense of those two former coaches as well. That's likely with the basketball. He gives it up to the right sideline. They try to go inside for Boone. And and strong again. Yeah, he's kind of cut off. Fade away. Jennifer, though, is good. Thought he got away with a walk there. Switch pivot feet. Well, he has the first four points for Oklahoma State. So try to find out who's going to take over for Kate Cunningham. Now that's going to have to be by committee, I think, don't you? Mm -hmm. Mitchell had an open look. That ball out of bounds will be Baylor basketball. Can't give them those second opportunities, but that's the good one. There's a shot of Cade. I'm sure upset not being able to play, but if they can get some points inside, some follows, they can get their defense set in the backside. And there's a little switch to the pivot foot, a little lockdown. Number 22 in your program. Ooh. One of the bones. Jonathan Chaumwa Chachua into the game for the first time. Thank you for your help. Yeah. Chama Chachua. He had a big challenge against Kansas. And right to the basket, that shot is blocked by Chamwa Chachua. Uh, this kid just does everything for this team. Runs the floor, great on ball screens, active with block shots. Every day, John, they call you every day Tom, too, but uh, <laughs> pretty good reaction defensively. Oh. I think everybody's heard this story before. He's, he's only been playing basketball for five years. Uh -huh. Just another one of those transfers found the home you to see a lot of that during the next few years Played his freshman year at UNLV oh, nice pass. Got to catch it. He saved it, but he saved it for the wrong team. He got numbers here Look at him hustle back though number 23 into your vision there amazing All about effort little show no! Oklahoma State with a one-point lead. It's gonna be an offensive foul against Matthew Alexander Moncrief. And look who's there, right? A vital contributor to this program. Doing everything he can. Moncrief sort of solid. Gets his feet set up and just outside the lane there. Boy, you don't get anything easy with those two. Vital last year, unanimous pick for the all-defensive team. In fact, they've got two just unbelievable defensive individuals. Jamo Chachua in the paint off the back of the iron. He's going to be better offensively, too. Not a bad delivery. That's wide open at that foul line. Seems like it's likely going a little bit. He's covered out front by Mitchell. Picked up. Pretty good balance there by Bowe. I don't know how he didn't travel. Well, Marcus Haynes dribbling display. Don't offend Marcus now. Come on. <laughs> Wasn't that good? <laughs> Little push. This is where they're dangerous in the early. Big threes or go to the rim. Beautiful look as Mitchell cuts to the basket. He's like a freight train going to the rim. He is five of the seven for the Bears. Boone thought about it. And Mitchell, unlikely, one of the great defenders, I think, in the country. Contains his guy. Little switch here and another great defender right along him. Likely trying to force the action. Look at a pushing foul on Vital. Well, you asked about the guards on the open. They can beat you in so many ways. They be on with the strength, the power, the agility, the little kiss early Saturday afternoon. Great pictures of Eddie Sutton. Of course, the court here is named after Eddie. Uh, who took four different teams to the NCAA tournament. Yeah, Vern Lundquist and I used to do the tournament together, and we, the number of years we spent with Eddie, he was recruited, hopefully I'm right on this, <laughs> by Gallon, Adolph Rupp, wow. and Henry Iba. I mean, just, just the connection. Of course, there's one of the boys, Scott. Yeah, and of course, Sean played and coached at Oklahoma State. Now he's down at Texas Tech. Yep. Senior advisor there. His beard. You think Eddie was happy that he was uh, placed next to Garth Brooks and Ricky Fowler on those cutouts? <laughs> I, I, I don't know how good he played God, but I don't think he played with Ricky. Just a guess. <laughs> God bless him. One point lead for Baylor. 
And Boone's going to get credited for that shot and that make after missing the first one. He's got six. And you got to have somebody step up when you don't have your main stage. This 2 2 1 is to slow you down a little bit, control tempo, and staying in that zone because the lack of depth and the lack of Cunningham. Yeah, they'll do this even with Cunningham. Meyer really punch shots, very talented kid. And Oklahoma State to the floor. It'll be Cowboys basketball up one. Kate Cunningham looking on, cheering his team on. And flagged around the floor as well as you see Cade. Pre-game he was shooting the ball, but I guess it's just a protocol. They have to quarantine for a certain amount of days. Yeah, he's going to be checked out by the medical team over the next couple of days to make sure the cardio is okay. Now, this is a set a lot of people run the double high there, ball screen, mm -hmm. and the dive to the rim. This is where he is good. Yeah, Look Mike at that. You got the Chapwa Chachua come over to helping Meyer. Now, they're going to have to create passing lanes on those drives, so those big guys collect at the point of attack. A nice little time spent with Mike Boynton, too, wasn't it? Yeah, he was sharp. Geez, great to listen to him. Caleb Boone, 67% from the free throw line. First one is good. Tomorrow, after the AMC Championship from Dick Wolf, creator of Law Order, comes the CBS original FBI. The elite team uses all the Bureau's skills and technology to keep New York and the country safe. FBI tomorrow after the AFC Championship on uh, CBS. Getting back to Mike, he played for Bob Lecky in high school. Of course, mm -hmm. of course Eddie Folger, right? And the Odom man, huh, Dave? Yeah, one year with Dave Odom. So great exposure to some really talented guys. This kid is good. Uh, I don't know, I think you just have to fall sometimes. <laughs> the way it goes, yes. <laughs> uh, it takes me three, three or four hours to eliminate before I get that little dive. Little drop step. I guess it was a pretty good call. Outside the the lane. Where kids are so good with this drop step spin. Yeah, Meyer thought he had daylight. Mm -hmm. So to the bench goes Mitchell. Back into the game, Macy O. T. Bill mentioned Flagler's in. He's number 10 for Baylor. And Baylor just guards so well. Well, they are shutting likely down. Individually. Always in the right spot. Little Meyer with a little hand there. Raking and helping his partner out. Well, that is just solid. Deep. Scott Drew's done a wonderful job as the head man at Baylor. Boy, I'll say from beginning, a little struggle early, but now he's got it going. He talks to Dan, his brother, on a regular basis. Get some insights, not a bad form to deal with. 55 wins, his 18th year at Baylor. Ball's knocked away. Avery Anderson knocked that one away. Well, Williams and Anderson really can get after you, too. Walker, another guy that can, if he were able. You don't see Baylor go through drafts like this, Bill. Two points in the last five minutes. Well, this is a good defensive team, too. Of course, the zone sometimes stagnates you a little bit. you got to rely on individual ability like Up that. That huh? Macy O.T. with some individual ability. Yeah, we're tied up at nine, likely still trying to get going. Tough pass down low. Kuma couldn't handle it. It was a little too high. You think likely is trying to do too much with Cunningham? Out? Well, I, I, I think he has to, uh, but within the framework. Because maybe him at the four spot would be another different matchup for him where he could take a bigger guy. He's had a great year, but the last four games, he's averaged 16 points per for the Cowboys. And making threes, too. Fire they... for three off the front of the rim. And they usually push it, get some early action, but they better take good shots. Williams to Likely. I wouldn't have passed that one up. Uh, Williams was, looked like he had some room inside the paint. It is stifling. The glamour of offense sometimes is the defensive scheme is lost. This, they just get after him. Scott Drew did not think that was a foul. Most coaches don't agree with officials, obviously. And with the reasons. crowds being as light as they are, they, the officials can hear it a little bit. Well, we haven't seen Scott since the cancellation of the ball game earlier in the year, right? 
Last vision we had of him was uh, he and Mark Few walking up the ramp. I must say you did a very nice interview job. Remember we had the bottle? Yeah, you did really well, too. <laughs> we got by. <laughs> They're still trying to work it out. I don't know if it's possible with the league situations for both of them. By the way, that foul was on Thamba. That's his second. Uh, the second free throw for Williams is good. And it's a game for the first time is Keelan Boone. He's the other half of the Boone brothers. One scored 1,100 points in high school. The other scored... Uh, 1056 in high school. Yeah, he can drive and find people. A little different game. Maybe a three here and there in the early block shots, though. He passes to the post well. Just nine shots so far for the Bears offensively. I, that's where you got to get right yep. there. I put a guard right on that foul line, though. The way they've extended the defense, a decision maker, nice pass by Vital. Vital wants it back again. He's right at the logo, the Big 12 logo. Jumper is no good. Rebound is pulled down by Likely. Pretty good look for T. And Anderson. Nice distribution. Cannot finish. The battle inside. Keelan Boone has it knocked away. And another foul called on Baylor. The Likely went down hard. <laughs> Trying to get easy baskets in the early. Look at the attack defensively, too. Well, that McCreef really got up mm -hmm. big time here, didn't he? He did. Extra opportunities. You certainly need him against a team like Baylor. So Boone to the free throw line, 64%. And he misses the first. I mentioned about 3,300 fans on hand for this one. This is one of the better venues in college basketball when it's filled up, right? Oh, it's beautiful. Absolutely. We were there last year. He had a big three-point play, the old-fashioned, against Texas Tech to help them. They've got contributors. Because mm -hmm. Cunningham was sort of the guy that stirred it all. Yeah, they're without Rondell Walker also. He's out with an arm injury. He averages nine points per game. A little bit of a matchup here. A little confusion leads to that. And a blocking foul as Vital will go to the free throw line to try to finish off a three-point play. Boy, that's their experience, though, Tom. And a little wrinkle defensively. Ready, nice little dive, the acknowledgement with the look, and the strength to finish the deal at the rim. Vital, <laughs> some impact as well. This is a big, tough guy. Oh, and to boot, you get the shot. What did Davion Mitchell say? He said, my job is to just make guys better. He certainly did there on that pass, and Vital is able to finish it off. Can't get the free throw to go down. They don't give up on plays. Very creative individually. Run their sets well. Tied at 11. Just under 12 to play in the first half. This is where I like likely. Got good pivot moves. But the next touch. step got him free. That's what power forward. That's a tough matchup when he gets you down on the block. Stirs it up against you. Well, that's his first bucket on his first basket or first attempt of the day. That's a great pass on the location. Unfortunately, Flagler comes up empty. And now, likely again. <laughs> you heard him say, come on, ref. <laughs> Give me a break. 11-23 <laughs> to play here in the first half. One of the more talented teams in the country, the Baylor Bears. Take it on Oklahoma State. It's a two-point Oklahoma State lead. We know how good Baylor is turning teams over, but how about Oklahoma State? They force 15 turnovers per game, and they're doing it in this first half. If you're going to upset a team like this, you've got to get more opportunities, the ability to help out, to rate, to be in the right position, pick up charges, uh, be feisty, make it a ratty kind of a game, and be in the attack mode. But turnovers are key, I think, giving them opportunities to ring the bell. This has been an 11-day layoff for Mike Boynton's team. He said the, the layoff's been hard. He said guys have been able to do some cardio, work on their own, get some shots up, but they've only practiced the last couple of days since then. As he has the John Thompson towel over his shoulder. Baylor with five field goals made, and they've been turned over four times so far. How about what he was talking about, the conference? Oh. How good you have to be uh, to even lose a game, right? He said you can play well and still lose by 15. <laughs> well, it is a deep league, no question about it. I put the Big Ten up there with it. 
Well, this guy's a keeper. They love him in Waco. Two shots, two shots for likely. Saw some pictures of the family fishing on one of the games during the course of the year. Get a little free time. You think they're competitive even official? Oh, I would bet. I would bet. Terrence Thomas, who used to play for Scott Drew, said when he walked in the first day, he said, he looked over to one of his teammates, he said, this guy looks like he's our age. <laughs> I've never heard that about me, but, well, we'd have to go back. <laughs> I was down there years ago, Jim Simpson, myself, Judd Heathcote, doing a retro game. How about that? Talk about a few years. Those that was his early days. days trying to build this program, and boy, he opened a lot of people's eyes. Again, this matchup zone by Oklahoma State, it's partly because they are without Kate Cunningham, without Rondell Walker. They're going to slip somebody right in that area, too. And that's the key. Either flash or dribble it. Bubba kicks it out. Three-pointer by Cryer is short. It's a shot clock violation. Five turnovers now for Bell. It almost comes a one-on-one -on -one at that foul line. If you get somebody good in there, like a Cunningham on the other end, uh, but one of those guards just slip in there, they could just decimate the interior D. Like likely inside. Off the high screen. He thought about a shot, but then in midair, he decided to pass it. Right. Comes Mitchell, gives it off to the right sideline. Three is no good. Well, you dodge one when he gets an open look. They slap back for threes, beat you down to the corners. Yeah, but over a thousand points in less than three years of college action is vital in Chamwa Chachua bump into each other and they lose it out of bounds. Bryce Williams with that open look didn't finish the deal. The kids are so good establishing that pivot foot. I know you're down that Philly area. Villanova does it so well. Either finishes or finds. There's Moncrief. And he's fouled from behind. Now they're going to call a traveling violation. Uh, nice help from the top, too. I thought maybe they would get a foul from up top. Yeah, Butler with that little annoying reach in caused that problem. Each team now with five turnovers. Pryor breaks the press on his own. It's a little simple ball screen to get Mitchell to that foul line. Chachua tries to set the screen. Watch Freedom for three for Butler. That's good. That's so nice screen. You see him run right to the rim, the big guy. He doesn't need much space. Quick trigger. Five points for Jared Butler. He not only scored against Kansas, had 30 points, his third 30-point game of his career, but also had eight assists. Oklahoma State with a one-point lead. Drive it. And Williams will do just that, but he's flushed out. The angle was tough. Put back, though, was good. Nice weak side rebounding position. When you get good shots, you can contribute on the glass. He didn't run through it. Oklahoma State winning the rebounding battle so far. And Pryor is able to connect for another three for Bell. They all can shoot it. <laughs> Pryor gets in there, takes advantage of his opportunities, 45% from three. One of the top teams in the country in shooting three points, a three-point percentage, over 40%. The leader is Indiana Purdue, Fort, uh, Fort Wayne. As that ball is blocked away from behind, loose ball picked up in the paint by Boone. Boone to the basket, didn't have the angle, and another second chance shot. Anderson able to get it to go. Boy, this is a tribute to their stick to it. Mike's got them ready to play. Very aggressive on the glass, getting a number of opportunities. Avery Anderson came in 10 for his last 16, and he has two buckets here this afternoon. Three-pointer again, Cryer from the corner, same spot this time off the mark. Vital with the rebound. Jamwa Chachua. Boom with a nice rebound, too. Well, they're competing on that glass against these bigs. 
Under eight to play. Oh, that's a tough pass. <laughs> that is a tough pass. Got away with it. He sure did. The free throw line. Pretty. Free down low. Gives it off to Boone, who slams it home. What a nice look. A quick timeout. I'll tell you what, Mike got these kids ready to play. No cutting him, but boy, a lot of joy in that sideline. And rightfully so. Gail Boone with nine points. Number nine was a resounding duck. What great with the great look. Our Jersey Mike's game summary. So the field goals are very even as far as attempts go. But look at the points in the paint for Oklahoma State. Incredible. Seven offensive rebounds. They just so much more aggressive. They've got to get those opportunities, obviously, if they're going to hang in here. Oh, happy to be here with Bill Raftery as we watch this game without Kate Cunningham for Oklahoma State. But Oklahoma State's game plan without Kate Cunningham is a lot of matchup zone. Uh, doing a really nice job. And really, they haven't found a way to beat it, Baylor. They're not really sliding anybody in that post area. A couple of dribble drives, but... Uh, they can shoot the basket. Yes, also. they you gotta, can. You got to stay steady. They'll find some wrinkles. There's Kate Cunningham. He was just talking to Rondell Walker, uh, his teammate, who also played against uh, played in the last game against Kansas, but is out with an arm injury. There he is. Well, they are short. Eddie, Eddie looks as upset about them not playing. <laughs> I think. Well, let's see what they come out. A little more. Looks like a little man right now. Yeah, Anderson is cover, uh, covering up top to Mitchell. Nice little wrinkle after the timeout. Make them change. And Mitchell's foul go to the basket. All rides. The new show on CBS Mondays, 9, 8, 7 Central. You want to see attacking one court case at a time. Because when you have talent like Baylor has, you switch the defense, the individual ability. The recognition factor and the strength to get to the rim and get to uh, the opportunity for two free throws. Mitchell on the year 73% from the free throw line. That's why it's odd that he missed that one there. Making his 44th consecutive start. And he has been a mainstay for this Baylor team. They're just so solid. He has six. Bring offense off the bench, too, with Meyer. Blacker as well when he's on the floor. Going backing his way in. Had a good look. Meyer with the rebound. Hey. Trying to get to that corner. They do a great job skip passing. And right here to the basket. Nice little he's maneuver. Meyer. He's clever. He averages eight points off the bench. In fact, both these teams have excellent bench work. It's it's really tough to match what Baylor does off the bench. Absolutely. And they guard as well. We mentioned their offensive end of the game. This is where he's good. Nice pass. Looked it down low hey, and Boone has Boone. 11. Better the assist to ice. This kid's got gumption. He's a winner. Great attitude. And blowing the Boone. At the end. Yeah, Boone's career high is 14. He has 11 in this first half. Mitchell. There's that drive kick. Looks like they're back in the zone again. Fire to a, a cutting Mitchell. Or Teague, I should say. No good in the rebound by Oklahoma State. Nice fly by separation. Meyer with another defensive rebound. Here comes Butler. Look at that hesitation. They are getting good shots. Yes. Back him in. This is where he's got a little hook game, too. Three-pointer is good. Rice Williams connects in front of the Baylor bench. Well, they are playing with some confidence, though. They believe. Great preparation. Zone's got them controlling the game, controlling tempo, and then the bite. Big break. Ooh, catch and you got a goal. Yeah, Meyer had a clear path to the basket. Like a wide receiver, right? Turn it around before he catches the ball. Yeah, just really solid find. Both of these teams do a great job shrinking your defense. You collapse, and look at that ability. A little nylon from deep on the blow by. Great reaction by Wilson, but also equally cool reaction from Scott Drew because he knew it was going in as soon as it left Wilson's hand. Largest lead of the day for the Cowboys. 
A depleted team playing without their best player, and that'll be, I would believe, so, yeah, an offensive foul. I think he extended the arm, you're right. Flagger got the spot. Well, they have four quad one wins already. Was there peeling sanctions, hoping to get into the NCAA tournament? Right now they're in, and as Mike Boyton says, listen, the NCAA has a lot more bigger things to deal with at this moment. It's going to be a slow process. Butler, bounce pass down low to Vital, who kisses it off the glass. That's a pretty position. Establish that pivot foot on the catch and finish. Dribble drive. Vital can live down there, can he? Oh, he carves out so much area as well. A little bump here. And likely somehow got it back. Well, that was a tough pass cut off by the Bears and Flagler. Nice shot. Alley oop to Vital. That was a tough pass. How about that? Pretty good coverage and reaction. And Kuma gets all the way back. Wilson for three off the front of the rim. And that ball out of bounds. It'll be Bauer basketball. And Vital coming right back after that missed dunk at the other end. Big wide shoulders and a pretty good defensive maneuver here. Heads up play. Well, they make you cover a lot of area, whether it's at the rim, widen you for the three point play, and then they got the bang off the deck. Scott Drew has to do a lot of coaching. In fact, today he's down by four, so in his mind, he probably thinks he has to do even more coaching to get them back. But he did say it is a whole lot easier to coach a team like this with oh. all the experience that they have. Nice to have talent. Mm -hmm. the guys that buy in. Yeah, they got that flash in the middle. He said, I do give them freedom. I do give them responsibility. And that freedom leads to the bucket by Vital and a trip to the free throw line. Well, he plays so big. Whew. He can play a lot of sports with those shoulders. Yeah, huh? he good. Two-point lead for Oklahoma State. A free throw when we come back. Right now, and we lost one last night when Sienna got knocked off by Shaheen Holloway. Shaheen is seen all grounded yeah. by him. Throw that in there. Great win for him. And Darren DeVry, uh, two straight 20 win seasons at, at Drake. I mean, he used to be an assistant at Creighton. Uh, Roman Penn, a good player. Watched him the other night just to check out uh, how they're doing. Uh, Shaquan Hempel, another good player. Yes. But it has shrunk, as they say, the undefeateds, right? Gonzaga and Bell are the elite of the elite at one and two in the country as Vidal converts that free throw to make it a one-point game. I left few out. He gets too much attention anyhow. He has gotten a lot of yeah. attention this year. He doesn't handle it well either. <laughs> they say trying to answer, and they do as Anderson is able to slide that one home. Well, they know he can shoot it now, so that's a bonus for him. Sophomore from Justin, Texas, and Northwest High School. This is really, Mike said he's worked so hard on his shooting. That's that individual play right there. Pryor did not like the free throw line. Chuck no. decided to pull behind the arc. Likely's got to be a great teammate. Yeah. Yeah. Cunningham comes in with all the, the glitter, handles it beautifully. Every huddle you see within the team, he's the one leading that huddle. I'd probably afraid of him. <laughs> I would be. With that body, little dribble drive. Yeah, Moncrief will go to the free throw line as he's fouled going up. Well, showing some game, really, Moncrief. Some more things. Just not hanging around the hoop. Pretty good offensive rebounder as well. Moncrief has started the last five games. First free throw is good. This Monday, the remarkable story of Bob Hart's Abishola continues. What happens next between Bob and Abishola's long-lost husband? An episode you'll want to see. Watch a new Bob Hart's Abishola, Monday, 8.30, 7.30 Central, or stream anytime and you watch uh, CBS. Mon I'm sorry, Gary. When you watch Moncrief with a little mid-post, he drives it pretty good. Came into Oklahoma State as the number 14 forward in the recruiting class. He said that Kate Cunningham was in his ear from the get-go in the recruiting process. 
and they're there to play a little defense again, and they get the missed shot. This is where he collapses the defense. Look like at this. Beautiful Brent. crossover. <laughs> get out of my way. Could you imagine him when he's about 50 playing in the Tavern League? And I know you've played that league. Yeah. Uh, just bullying his way. Terrific strength. <laughs> well, that'll be the first foul called on Flagler. Now likely he'll get two free throws. Kate Cunningham's teammate on the U19 USA roster missed the first one. Boy, if I had a body like his, I wouldn't know which shirt to wear. Would you go T-shirt most of the time? I, I don't, you know, I don't or like tank to, top. I like a little more humility. But yeah, but you have a body like him, you can wear you whatever gotta, you, you want. You got to brag a little bit, yeah. I guess. Second shot is good. Six-point lead. He has five. It's the matches the largest lead of the day for the Cowboys. There's two to one. You can get an open look at the corner if you like. Or drive to the rim there. Nice collection. Yeah, Butler thought he had a path that it was blocked away. Here's likely off the screen. Three-pointer is good. <laughs> and Butler at the other end, I thought he had a kick for an open three. Chose to challenge. Well, they are playing solid basketball. Yeah. Oklahoma State. That's eight points for Bryce Williams. He has two threes. Mitchell into the paint, kicks it out for Flagler for three, and the answer is there. That's what they get there. That ends an 8-0 run by the Cowboys. Well, they get two to play one, and they take advantage. Flagler, one of the great success stories, transferring from Presbyterian to Beller. We got a push off, I think, on the dribble drive. Again, talking about Butler's defense, great position, great contain ability at all spots, too. Yeah, Mitchell was able to get to the spot there. And now it'll be Bauer basketball down six. Jumbo Chachua sealing the screen. Back to that zone again. Mitchell, that's the play right there. Yeah, Chabwa Chachua with his power slamming it home. Oh, nice flash to the open area. Big fella looming large at the 10. We asked uh, Scott Drew about the pronunciation of Jonathan Chabwa Chachua and the fact that everybody calls him everyday Johnny. So that's because nobody could pronounce his last name when he first came in. <laughs> Chabwa Chachua looming. In the right spot, gets the puppies organized, but it's all about the flash and the pass. Look at the work, the bending over to contribute. Butler does it all. 1-10 to play in the first half of Fort Point, Oklahoma State lead. Smooth driving pays off. With Allstate, the safer you drive, the more you save. You've never been in better hands. Allstate, click or call for a quote today. Coming up on at and at the half, Adam Zucker, Seth Davis, and my camp counselor, Steve Lapis, break down our first half and bring you highlights from today's early action. That's coming up on at and at the half. See, Bernie made his way to Stillwater. I think Lappy still has his canteen money. You think of that? I need a pair of those gloves. What do you think? Well, if you want to get, get a hold of Jen Ellis and ask her if she can continue to make them. She's not making those I gloves anymore. I heard she stopped. Yeah. yeah well, listen, maybe a side job in the summer for you. Good second grade teacher who obviously has had her Twitter account blown up after Bernie wore those at the inauguration. Well, and nice. how about the power there? Nice patience. Creep with six points. Under a minute to play here in the first half. Oklahoma State without Kate Cunningham, without Rondell Walker, up by six. That's what's great about basketball. Other guys get an opportunity, seize it. You work hard, take advantage of the opportunity. The ball drive. And the ball blocked out of bounds. It'll remain Baylor basketball eight on the shot clock. Caleb Boone got a piece of Mitchell's shot. Well, nice to turn at the rim, too, if they get the blow by. A really good reaction. Being in the right spot, go over, help your partner. 
Nice clean play. Use the glass. I love Bill Russell. He was frustrated. He didn't keep it in bounds. Shot clock at five. Double team in the corner. Three is good. How about that from Jared Butler? Well, he sprinted to the corner to prepare himself. Jared Butler. And he has eight. What a quick check as well. Shot clock is off. Likely holding on to it. Covered up top by Davion Mitchell. I got rid of it. Baylor has only trailed one other time at the half this year. That was against TCU. And likely brought the double team. Baseline jumper, no good. And the rebound by Teague. And that will do it for the first half. Oklahoma State without Cade Cunningham on top 36 to 33 over the Baylor Bears. That's the end of the first half. Let's go to Adam Zucker and the boys in New York. All right, team. CBS Sports College basketball coverage is sponsored by Dr. Pepper, the sweet treat you deserve. Buick, proud partner of the NCAA. And by AT&T 5G, fast, reliable, and secure. Chili fries for everybody at Eskimo Joe's. Time now for our first half statistics brought to you by Coke Zero Sugar. Well, the big number is that Oklahoma State's on top, 36 to 32. Look at the points of the paint. Still Oklahoma State with a 10-point advantage. Very impressive, Chris. You might say it's a boon to have Caleb on your side, by the way. He has been terrific at the rim. Defensively mixing it up, they've caused many problems. Well, speaking of Caleb Boone, his career high is 16 points. He has 11 today. His season high is 14 points. He's been excellent around the basket. And then, of course, you see he has a left hook or right hook. His footwork is terrific. Really understands position, geography, where to catch it. Here he may have gotten away with one. A little extra little step in downtown market. Uh, but the ability at the rim, good eye-hand coordination, and why not? Send it in, big fella. They need to play and perform admirably in the second half. Adjustments for the Bears, you think, in the second half? Yeah, I think they started getting a go a little bit. They're the flashing to the post, the dribble driving kick, getting down the floor, that out-of-bounds play. They got Butler the open look with the quick release. Well, Baylor will with the basketball to start the second half. Down by four. Davion Mitchell. Bounce pass inside of Vital wide open. What a great play. Nice little screen to get Vital a curl to the rim. Great entry. Well, Vital has nine to make it a two-point game. Nice hesitation. A little adjustment, uh, I think, coming out of the gate with really a good understanding of being in the right spot. Nice pass and vital. Energized at the rim. Look at that little clear out. Isn't that pretty? A solid play by Love. Come on. 20 on the shot clock as Oklahoma State will inbound the basketball. Likely to likely. Fell asleep a little bit there, Tom. He posted nicely. That'll be the third foul on Thamba. And two shots now for Likely. Four straight games, Bill, with double digits for Likely. He's just a solid performer. Both ends of the floor really is a nice understanding. You can envision him later on in life by like beating people up on three and three games. <laughs> of course, he's playing. His uh, role is even brighter now because of Kate Cunningham being out today as Oklahoma State continues to follow COVID-19 protocols. There's a chance he doesn't play against Iowa State on Monday. Rondell Walker's also out for Oklahoma State. Other guys are just stepping up. By the way, what kind of camp counselor was Steve Walker's? Steve was a, a... Did he show? He showed. He showed. Going over his basketball camp after the 85 National Championship. Really probably gave him a bag of chips to run the camp. Rolly walked around with, uh, remember those jam shorts, those flowery jam shorts? There's Cade. There's a big time talent. A lot of people envisioned him in top one, two, three. Yeah, they wondered if he would keep his commitment as final gets his second bucket of this half. A nice little penetration at find as well. It's an 11-2 run now for the Bears to tie it up at 36. Or some really nice adjustments at halftime. Get into the thick of things. 
Got to get good shots, see if he can chase it. Got to stay in touch if you're Oklahoma State. What? Likely inside, gives it to Boone. Boone, a dribble and a foul. Lytle just couldn't get over and deny in a proper position. Pretty good entry. Pretty good job. We can see the gamble, the sellout. John Mochachua is called for that foul. It's a fresh inbound for Oklahoma State. And a little extra pass. Boy, that is pretty. Likely not an easy pass. Oh, good eye hand again. And now the answer on the other end, no good. John Mochachua has the ball knocked away. And Avery Anderson helping to lead this break along with Bryce Williams. Williams for three. And it's no good. Mitchell with the rebound. Well, they had good balance, though. Hey, Mike Boynton told us he, he does not want to discourage his team from taking the first open three. As long as it's a good He'll shot. Just, that'll discourage you, though. Yeah, it might. Or the range. And, boy, you got to come out and hug them. And we know they can all put it on the deck. First lead for Baylor since it was 7-6. As Jared Butler is able to connect. Two minutes into the second half. Likely with a little bit of a post up, a little double screen for him. A little spacing for Oklahoma State. Shot clock is at five. Three pointer for Anderson, no good. And now Baylor with the rebound and the fast break. A yeah, good defensive set. Keeping the guy in front of him. T to Mitchell off the high screen. Mitchell. See, if you help like that, you're going to pay. How about Teague with the open three? Couldn't get it to go. Our defense opened up, gave it an opportunity. Likely hovering. Keeps the paint. Keeps that dribble alive for that floater. Put back is no good, but the second attempt is good by Moncrief. Now you get good shots. He cleaned him up. Nice to see the reaction. He's in the game. Got to be very disappointed for a guy of this caliber. Oklahoma State back on top by one. Kate Cunningham, by the way, did work out earlier today. He was shooting around on the floor. That's why they, they hope that he will only miss today's game, maybe next next game against Iowa State. Butler to Mitchell. And you have to guard them wide on the floor, too. Three-pointer by Mitchell is no good, and here come the Cowboys. Nice give. High step into the basket, off the glass, no good. Second shot, or second attempt, will go to the Cowboys. That's when you get that open three, likely passed it up for a better opportunity at the rim. And Vital called for the foul. It almost looks like they said he was in the restricted area. Anderson with a nice little attack. Well, that's his third foul. As Vital looks up at the scoreboard to realize it. And Anderson to the free throw line. 77%. And the first free throw. Good. Monday night, it's a good time to hang out with your uh, favorite neighbors. Cedric the Entertainer and Max Greenfield star in a new neighborhood. Watch Monday, 8, 7 Central. Or stream anytime on CBS. Second shot. That's good. Flag around the floor now with Meyer. Brings a lot of offensive punch. Not that they don't have it on the floor normally. It brings another a ball handler. He's very clear, right. That's perfect. What a substitute. Didn't make it. You know what Scott told him. He's getting that foul line. Be creative. Meyer out of Austin, Texas. He has been a good boost for the, the Bears on, off the bench. Watch Butler, the inbounder. So at the end of the half, the sprint to get an open three. Good denial, closes the timeout. 16.08 to play in the second half. Oklahoma State with a three-point lead. Time now for Inside March Madness, presented by Buick. Well, to Oklahoma State's uh, tournament resume, 9-3 overall. Look at the quad one victories, 4-2. Jerry Palm projects them as a number five seed. They've got the victory over Texas Tech, which was at Texas Tech, and also the victory over Kansas. Now, they have appealed the NCAA sanctions and waiting to see if they're eligible or not. 
the NCAA ruled that they were going to be ineligible for one year for the NCAA tournament. But as Mike Boynton said, they have a lot of other things to deal with, so it's going to take some time. Right now, though, they feel like they are in. And how about, you know, what they've been able to accomplish today without Kate Cunningham? Uh, just amazing. Now everybody has stepped up, uh, solid defense, mixing up the zone and the man-to-man. -man. Uh, pretty good job dribbling, but this kid does so many things. His vision, his feel, his understanding. Uh, just an amazing kick of play. That low box area, he's got a good left hand as well. Uh, just a wraparound pass here. And, and for me, maybe this is a one of the great plays of the season. His block pass. Just amazing what he can do on the basketball floor. Solid. Yeah, yeah, the bucket is good for the Bears to make this a one-point game. 16 minutes to play here in the second half. Pretty athletic, huh? That block pass. Yes. Never hit the floor. It was his brother, Cannon, who's an assistant coach at Oklahoma State, that moved him from a forward to a point guard during the AAU seasons in high school, and he feels like that has made a huge difference in his game. He may be the guy with the vision, too. Absolutely. The lead is won for the Cowboys. 5G fast analysis. This is how good Oklahoma State's been on defense today. You know, Tom, if you don't guard in this league, you're going to go home empty. Empty-handed, uh, but collectively. The nine at the rim, the ability to run out, get some opportunities at the other end. This is a well-coached, solid team, and the ability to make shots. Bryce Williams, 37% from three uh, to top it off. Defense leading some opportunities at the other end. Yeah, give them credit for what they've been able to accomplish today. Not only the fact that they have the lead, but Kate Cunningham's 18 points per game is difficult to overcome. And don't forget Rondell Walker, who averages nine per game, too, who's not playing. And he brings a lot of juice, too. Kuma on the floor now. They're going deep into the bench. There's Rondell, now with an arm injury. Another one of those kids that can fill it up from deep. A lot of kick-out threes he can make. Last year, he struggled. Two for 26. You can see all the work he put in. By the way, likely was fouled going into that break, so that's why the 20 on the shot clock and the Bears forced the turnover. ACOT. Spread Black out. Ball can do that. Pump yep. fake and get to the rim. And Myers fouled on the floor. First team foul for the Cowboys. Myers got to learn how to lie on the floor to get picked up. It's <laughs> part of the deal nowadays, you know. Come get me, boys. He was jumping up to get to the free throw line. Offensive minded kid. Makes the first one. Every game he's played for Baylor has been off the bench. 77 games off the bench, but he's been able to improve his shooting percentage 9% from last year. What does that tell you about him? Pretty good attitude. A really right? good teammate. He's an energy guy. We know he's got some offensive skills. Plays with the system, just trying to help the program win. And you were envying his hairdo, I'm sure. Hairdo. <laughs> I would envy the shortest of hairdos. <laughs> <laughs> That's an unusual high-low. You get your smaller guy down on the block. Nice kick-out, open look, and once again. Yep, Williams connects on the three. Nice. He's got 11. <laughs> that assist goes to Likely. He's got five assists so far. The slip to Tomba, and he's fouled going up. A nice look, too. Pretty good reaction. T with the pass. Uh, just really solid basketball here. Good recognition, filling the spot, open space, getting yourself available. A little knock uh, mm. to boot. Flow to the line. Not the best free throw shooter, but connects there. By the way, Moncrief called for that foul, so now Keel and Boone will check in for Oklahoma State. Over 50% now, you're killing the kid. <laughs> and he makes both here. Impressive. Just a matter of time. Though. Absolutely. Little extended floor now. Flag over at the point. 
A lot of teams like to put a big guy over there so you don't have division. Quick timeout. Mike Boynton didn't like it. Oklahoma State uses a timeout. We'll be back. 1447 to play. Scott Drew, the head coach of the Baylor Bears, last year spent five straight weeks at number one. His team is number two right now, unbeaten, right behind Gonzaga. Gonzaga at 15 and 0, and Baylor at 13 and 0. He comes from a great family of basketball players and coaches. What a pedigree! Yep, absolutely, Homer, of course, and Chris Bryce improved to nine and three, being Dixie State. Mm. Well, some skull session. Nice He's jump at a passing lane. There comes Flagler. And his reverse layup is no good. Meyer, though, is there to put it back. That's why you run the floor. You never know. Five points for Meyer. Baylor has the lead by one. And now ten turnovers for Oklahoma State. they got to be patient now. This is a big trip, I think, even though it's early. Why not give it to him, huh? And a blocking foul called. So aggressive in his pursuit of the rim. But the ability to jump passing lanes and finishes. With Meyer being in the right spot, a lot of orange shirts tardy. So Thamba called for the foul. I think like they could have lost Tristan Clark, who was hurt last year, too. You know, just his ability, certainly Im Im impressive. Thamba will check out, Bill. That's four on him. So Chamua Chachua will ch check back into the game. Also out is Jared Butler. Van Du, another kid who left as well. He just retooled at Baylor. I think they expected, and obviously it was different for everybody from the NBA draft standpoint and the camps. I think they also expected other guys to leave too. Butler was one, I would think. Yes. Once again, look at Meyer with the foul line. He can be creator. Our sixth tie. And Meyer got some separation for three. No good. The putback, though, is good. Beautiful touch around the basket. Just good, good after they overload one side. Very solid basketball. Like we make that. Yeah, I was just saying he had an open three. Doesn't take many. Gets into the corner on the pass pass. And the three is good. Keelan Boone is able to connect on a high arcing three pointer. His first bucket. How about that? And the talented one on the sideline enjoying it as well. He's the outside shooter in the family. His brother had 11 in the first half. Mitchell Flagler for three. Flagler too strong. And the rebound by Anderson. Oh, got away with a foul, too. Anderson stumbles in the paint. Somehow kept his dribble. The ball is loose. Likely has it. Trying to get a timeout. And I believe they called a jump ball. There remains Oklahoma State basketball. Well, anything loose change on the floor, likely's my man to get it. It's got a little too deep at the dribble. Here comes Mark Vital back in. With the three fouls as well. He's got to play under control. Pretty good test right here for Baylor. Baylor has won every game so far by eight points or more. And they're in a dodge fight with the Cowboys. Likely in the paint, just not enough on the shot. And here comes Davion Mitchell, one-on-one, -on -one going right to the basket. Shot is blocked from behind. Meyer for three, and it's no good. And Keelan Boone with the rebound. Well, they're very fortunate to dodge that one. Nice little kick out look. Off the high screen. Puma doing a lot of screening now. Offensive rebound inside. And likely doing what he does best, put it on the deck. But uh, this league has great defenders, I think, team-wise and individually. And got it before it hit the rim, or excuse me, the glass. Get an open opportunity deep. So the foul is called on Flagler. That's his second. 17 fouls for Baylor. Now that didn't hurt them in the first half when they uh, pushed Oklahoma State into the bonus early on. Well, that's an important aspect of close games. They're getting to the free throw line. Second chance points as well. 
Likely four of eight today from the free throw line. And connects in the first one, he'll get a second. Amazing for his size how he gets those post-up opportunities. You know, they're well scattered, well prepared to negate those opportunities for him as well. He's got almost eight rebounds per game, which is fifth in the Big 12. Made one, missed one, got his own rebound. Didn't check the shooter. Boy, no. nice work on that. And does it open up a three? It does an opportunity, but Meyer with the rebound. Oops. Nobody saw it, though. High bouncer. <laughs> Spalding. Mitchell T playing catch in the backcourt. The zone has been good all day for Oklahoma State. Meyer fade away. Bank shot no good. Boy, they're getting great shots for not converting. Nice hands. And T tries to keep it alive, and a foul is going to be called I against they, Avery Anderson. I think they may have gotten the timeout. You think so? Scott Drew's team is within reach. We're going to talk more about Scott and the Drew family when we return. Crowd of a little more than 3,000 on hand in Stillwater, including Bernie Sanders. Scott Drew brings his Baylor team in, and this is an amazing turnaround, what he's been able to accomplish uh, with the Bears. Now, it began for Scott as a manager for the Butler Bulldogs. He actually played tennis. And then, of course, he coached uh, on his dad, Homer Drew's team, and his, his brother hit that big shot. And here is the Drew family. How about that? What a great group. Of course, Homer's such a wonderful man. And this is what he's done. Before Scott Drew, the Bears were in the AP Top 25 three times. It's incredible. It's three it's times. incredible. I remember being with Judd Heathcote. I mentioned him earlier. He said he couldn't understand why he would take that job with all the problems in it. And, you know, Homer, one of the years he went to the NCAA, Al McGuire, <laughs> I remember Al calling him, telling him he should ask for a new contract. Homer's <laughs> <laughs> such a gentleman. Uh, Heck of a coach. 255 games that his team has been ranked since he took over. A oh, pretty play. Easy. Vital, so athletic underneath on the high low. Mitchell just nice poise with the bounce. Takes it another foot or so. Then delivers. Seventh tie. And now the turnover forced by the Bears. Here comes Butler. Leaves it for a cutting Davion Mitchell. Well, he can get him up and down. Mitchell, what a fill and a give. Eight points now for Davion Mitchell. He's where they might tighten up the defense, get a couple of stops in a row, but have poise for the Oklahoma State. Well, good catch underneath by Kuma, and he's fouled. What a great play by Flat. Goodness, thought he got all basketball on that particular trip. Let's see what happens here. Uh, somebody got a piece of it. Yeah, I think it was right. Macy O.T. They called for the foul. So now Kuma, who originally committed to Illinois, will go to the free throw line. The foul, by the way, on Teague was his third. When you look up at the ball like that, you know you got a problem. Concentrate on the rim. There's T, who just got called for his third foul. The Cowboys 57% today, Bill, from the free throw line. They may come back and haunt them Absolutely. down the road. But his Baylor team can really play undersized. They're so competitive. Yeah, even when they bring Flagler into the game and they have the four guards, they do that 14% of the time. Sporadically, right. Yep. What a matchup nightmare for people. Baylor leads it by one. Mitchell back to the zone. Off the screen by Vital. Butler's able to slice through. Gets it back to Vital. Off the glass. It's good. Uh, just the poise there in traffic. Turn the corner. Keep the dribble alive. Dive at the proper time. 15 points for Mark Vital. Lead is three for the Bears. Look at this denial. All over, stepping it up, putting the pressure on, making it more difficult to even get a catch further out on the floor. And why not when you need something? The broad shoulders attacking the rim, a little smooch as well. 
Oklahoma State could inbound again. Shot clock is down to 10. Likely cut off by Mitchell. But hands. Nice help. That's just great defense. Really is. The whole trip. Suffocating. And vital with the rebound. Davion Mitchell said that the reason he's so good defensively is that he's just tired of he was tired of being embarrassed when he was young. We got a match it now. Get some stops. The Bureau of Columbus State. Butler hovering a little bit. Mitchell. Nice replace. Butler for three. It's good. Just drawing the D to the right, the fill on the left. <laughs> How about the reaction from his team? You know, the benches are extended so much because of the COVID-19 protocols. They all started getting up, and they could see that that ball was going to go down before it went through the net. Well, they've seen him do it often enough. Really can't get that high low with good defensive pressure out at the top. Oklahoma State without a field goal in its last four minutes, likely trying to answer that. Got to go opposite. Get in the lane and go opposite. You've got the defense collapsed. They know this is crunch time, these kids. They've been through it. Well, after the uh, ball gets knocked out of bounds, Deller will get the basketball back. Moncrief checks back in. Not a lot of answers when you're putting a lot of uh, youngsters who haven't been on the floor quite a bit, particularly at this time of the game. He could go straight up man. Mitchell in the game for the first time. He's covering the ball. Well, they went the zone again. And another three by Butler. Oh, just spread you. Mm. Amazing. 16 points. It's a nine-point lead for the Bears. Too much area to cover. Big time. Oklahoma State trying to answer. Boone uh, doesn't get the roll, but gets the rebound, and it's out of bounds. I don't know if you saw the help by Butler there. Yeah. He's the one that caused the miss on the shot. Uh, Butler just really understands as a score to get in the right spot. To get available to convert big time. Number 12 in your program, number one in your heart. First player in Baylor history to be a preseason All-America selection. Aren't they happy he can go to Alabama where he originally signed? And another one. Goodness. No defense can cover this and cover the inside game as well. Poor Vinnie Johnson was a great player, but not a preseason All-American. Huh? <laughs> These guys can stroke the ball big time. Crunch time for both teams and foul trouble looms. Moncrief has three, Anderson has three. That's a huge loss with Anderson not being on the floor for Oklahoma State, particularly when you consider Kate Cunningham's out with the injury, Rondell Walker's out with the injury. No, they, they are shining out in the side of vital. He just doesn't give up on a play. And he's got a good head, knows where to go, what position to be in. They find him, gives it up, attacks the glass. Oh, they are so valuable, players like that. Tip Kissinger hands the basketball to Oklahoma State, and this is a 15-1 run for Bell. You could feel it defensively, though. Just tighten the news a little get really getting after people. That is where it started, right, defensively? Yep. Look at the weak side help. They're trying to get likely to post up. Moncrief can't get the shot to go. Vital with another rebound. Mitchell to Butler. And there's the scramble. Macy Oteague off the glass. No good. He wanted a foul. And the rebound by Moncrief. Now they get the heads turning with the dribble drive and penetration. Lock under eight minutes to play here in the second half. Anderson back here with three fouls. Look at this individual defense. Anderson is knocked away by Vital. How about that? The extra hand by Butler. Absolutely. They're telling team to shoot it from the baseline, and he does. Is there a little hesitation with the ball fake? This is a 19-1 run for Bell. They make open shots. They make tough shots. And Bill, in a blink of an eye, it's a 14-point game. They pass the ball to one another. Great harmony. Nice hands here by Flagler. 
Maceo T to the floor to pick it up. It'll be a jump ball. Possession goes to Baller. It's all Bears right now in Stillwater. This is it hasn't solely been the Jared Butler show. He has 19 points, but look at the second half shooting for the Bears, and now they lead it by 14. You know, they all contribute, but uh, nobody better than this kid. He just really understands the game, and his ability to shoot the basketball uh, sets him apart. And just a really nice understanding of when to get a shot, when to get in position to get a shot, get those babies organized, and here, just get yourself available, the quick release, not the high, arcy kind of a way over your head, but just enough elevation, as Jerry West used to say, just go high enough to knock that shot down, and he does. The other thing, too, is that his teammates are finding him uh, during this run where he has nine of the 17 points in the 17-1 run for the Bears. Uh, we were talking about Scott Drew. They were mainly a zone team. Mm -hmm. Nice little entry here. Chama Chachama. Got to hesitate there, make sure I get it right. <laughs> but they mostly played zone early in his career. His dad was a big zone. They tweaked things and took away different situations before they are a terrific man-to-man -man team. And a few times we're able to get to the rim, one of the bones, I guess. Yeah, that'll end a 15-0 run by Baylor. It's 6.20 to play in the second half. Mitchell picked up by Butler. Staying in that zone, she's going to have a pretty good opportunity. Is that a good turnover leading to something? And Anderson has it blocked away by Chamwa Chachua. Does not give up on a play, does he? No. Ooh, hustle always prevails. Timing, coordination. Just couldn't get it off the glass like LeBron does. But this is what they need, opportunities like this. you got to convert, too. Coming down the stretch in particular. Likely is fouled going up by Flagler. Now they'll play. You know, these kids really leave it all out there, too. They're taking a big, solid hit now. Recoil. They're likely over to the bench with a quick word before he goes to the free throw line. It's almost like a coach on the floor with the. I agree with he that. He runs the show. Mike Boynton told us about uh, likely. He said he's just a high level competitor. So when people call and ask what his skill is, he says, I tell them it's competitiveness. As he makes the first free throw. Yeah, he comes every day. Talk about vital that way as well. One shot. Mike Boynton said, you know, he actually fits in to what Baylor is trying to do in a lot of ways. Second shot is good. He's got nine. He's not thinking of releasing it. Though. No, I don't think so. <laughs> At this point, I don't think so. Extend the floor, a little 2-2-1. Two, two, Mitchell able to get through the, the pressure. Now, the danger of pressing this team is they just find people. Not a good play here. That's going to be against Anderson. That's going to wind up being his fourth personal foul. Look at Mike Boyden. And why not? He almost had a turnover. That foul, by the way, is the fourth team foul for the Cowboys. The clock at 20. Shot clock at 20. See the over yep. quickly. Now that says to all hit. Wow. He sprinted to go under the rim. Recognized, drifted to the corner. Great acknowledgement with the pass. And the knockdown. Coming off a 30-point game against Kansas, he has 22. He's exploded in this second half. And the second shot is good by Boone. Nice roll. Five twenty to play in the second half. As Baylor is trying to get to 14 wins. So many guys can hurt you. Oh, a little too a little tricky. Fancy. Yeah, a little fancy. <laughs> He had to kick out the Flagler, too. Williams is runner blocked away by Chapo Chachua. Here comes Flagler. Can they catch up to him? And he's going to be fouled from behind. Well, he, could, he just sprinted and made that a lot easier for his team. Well, just collectively defensive. Look at where he came. Mm. Big Jonathan provides the lift. The ability to run the floor. <laughs> Marvin Webster days, huh? Wow. The eraser. 
Well, that's his fourth block of this game. To the free throw line, Flagler. Flagler is one of those great stories as Vital checks in. Played at Presbyterian, was an excellent scorer at Presbyterian. He was the Big South freshman of the year, 682 points overall. Sat out last season. Scott Drew said, listen, we saw he was in the portal. We scouted it, tried to find some you know, film on him, talked to a lot of coaches and felt like he could fit in. I think it was a connection with the high school coach, too. The former players were able to play at Baylor, loved it, and drive, track. Look at that. 17 points for Caleb Boone. He's been a bright spot today. And here's the gamble you're going to get these looks against the press. And bury himself. Is your brother going to take that shot himself? 75 59, 10 points for Flackler. Well, as out of sync as, as Baylor seemed to be in the first half, that's how in sync they are now. It's a, it's a big contrast, no question about it. Looks like they have a big time confidence that they can accomplish a lot. Nothing's too big or too difficult to handle. Well, I think you mentioned it before, too, as Butler checks out. It starts with their defense, mm -hmm. and, and it definitely started with their defense today. I saw Jerome Tang there, Jerome, longtime assistant. And they, they have a little routine, but they go to a timeout. He jumps in first and chats with the players. And then Scott comes in. Ball screen dive. Look at this cut. Oh, is that pretty? Right, Vital is there to clean it up. 17 points for Vital. That matches his career high at 17 in the tournament against Gonzaga. And wow, a two-headed jam by Caleb Boone. A little fake out there. Vital gambled on one side. But this lead is now 16 for the Bears. That's a move. Line. They've really done a nice job finding holes in this zone. And Vital is fouled by Boone. Uh, they're well coached, they're talented, play together. 332 to play. The blocks have gotten the Bears back in it. Chamwa, Chachua has been all over the floor. Two quarterbacks having a great oh, year, man. right? The they question is Patrick back to cleared protocol yeah. yesterday. Well, he is fun to watch as vital converts. Josh Allen has evolved this season, had not had a 300 yard game until this year. Second shot, no good. Park. I think a couple of weeks ago they had a game up there. It seemed like it was a packed stadium. Yes. 6,700. I was there for the Ravens game and it sounded like there were 77,000 there. That potential slam dunk did not go the way Moncrief wanted as the ball went out of bounds. He got a break, too. I don't think Meyer got a piece of it. 3.18 to play here in the second half. Look at the difference between the, the first half and the second half for Baylor. Uh, shot selection, they're wide open and making them now. She's sharing it. Tough, tough catch. And Butler goes to the ground to pick it up, gets it to Vital, now to Meyer. And Meyer to the basket, cannot finish. The ball is loose in the air and pulled down by the Cowboys. Well, Meyer's had a lot of shots like that. He really had opportunities, just missing them. Talented kid. Vital, ah! and Vital is fouled going up. Whew. They just come at you. Really oh, understand God. lanes, who to give it to. Control that basketball. Nothing silly. Little look away. They're not only good shooters, they just understand how to play. Maybe on Mitchell with a terrific look and Vital rejected at the 10. Well, so Vital will go to the free throw line with 18. And his first free throw is no good. Scott Drew told us the other day, we talked about coaching a more talented team. He said, well, it's better to have more talent, obviously. He said, the biggest thing we try to do is give them freedom. He goes, their experience, we listen, and they give us our thoughts. He said, the good thing is, is that our staff understands that they see things that not many other teams can see. Talent has a license, no question about it. 
and, and coaches, uh, when they have kids like this, when they come to the huddle, they have concepts, no doubt. thoughts. I know what we can do, what we can run. by nice slip here. The recipient. Yeah, he continues his career high day. He's got 21 points. A little full court pressure. This is uh, when you have so many handlers like they do. Corey's understand the clock score. Mitchell and Flagler in the backcourt. Flagler's runner is no good. Vital with the board. Nice pass. He will convert off that pass from Vital. Such a big time player, Vital. Unselfish, unassuming. Vital 19 points, five rebounds, and now with that assist, there's a couple of assists. Look at him helping out here, double the box. He read it. He count the bucket, Moncrief. But look at that, just a tad late. They read one another too, don't they, on both ends Absolutely. of the floor? Absolutely. Well, uh, well connected. Kuma will check back in. I think that's the the great thing about having a season team is that they, everybody seems to know where each other is going to be on any given moment. The goals are the same. No doubt. It's all about us. And again, I think you see that even with Gonzaga. Yeah. Even with the young players they have. They're the good ones. That's why they are who they are. God willing, we get to the tournament, there are going to be some unbelievable matchups. Last time Baylor was in the NCAA tournament, they lost to Gonzaga, but that was early on. I would think if they're going to face each other, it's going to be pretty late in the tournament. Shot clock at five, shot is off the front of the rim. Anderson, no look great. pass cut off. What a great read. A little deflection on that kick out pass. Our triple header continues next with a top 20 matchup in the Big Ten between 15th ranked Ohio State and number 10 Wisconsin. More college hoops are coming your way right here on CBS. That's going to be a classic. Both teams playing well. Hopefully Walker will be back. Liddell playing great for Ohio State. Big Ten, Big 12, two really good conferences. They are. Yeah, the only thing I think separates them the defense in the, in the Big 12 might be just a little tad tougher yeah. to score against. And if you see the efficiency numbers, that plays out. Mm -hmm. but you, you better be able to score no doubt. if you play that uh, the Big Ten as well. Mitchell turns it over. He dribbled it right on out of bounds. In the backcourt, Davidson and Trice at uh, Wisconsin. Okay. Just a good, solid basketball team. 81-66. Baylor on top. I think Oklahoma State acquitted themselves well, though, considering the lack of healthy bodies. Uh, yeah, without Kate Cunningham. And he threw in to the mix as well. Rondell Walker out with the arm injury. Celebrations beginning for the Bears on their sideline. They're just going to dribble it out. Scott Drew is heading toward midcourt. A lot of respect for these programs, too. Scott's got a group. Well, it's the third best start in school history, and it keeps getting better. Beller wins it by a final score of 81 to 66. They trailed at half for just the second time this season. And for the second time, they were able to erase that deficit. Well, they are solid. They guard so tough on both ends of the floor. For Bill Raftery, this is Tom McCarthy saying so long. Coming up next is the Ohio State at Wisconsin. This has been a presentation of CBS Sports, home of the 2021 Men's National Championship. The NCAA on CBS continues right after this.